Hey everyone, it's Michael from Notefolds, and today I've got this really fun spinner card that I came up with here. And what's great about it is when your recipient opens the card, you can see that that flower right in the center just spins around. And it's actually pretty easy and quick to make, so let's go ahead and get started. To get started with this card, we need a base that is nine and a quarter by six and three quarter, a pattern piece of paper that is six and a half by four and a half, and this is by the Paper Studio, the Kirby Teasdale collection. Our spinner is going to be made out of two pieces of paper that are two by two. We need a four inch length of thread here, and I'm using linen thread from Stampin' Up. And then we're going to need a circular die. This is the two and three quarter diameter from Nest Abilities. And finally, our punch that we're going to be using for the spinner is Stampin' Up's Flower Shop. Now, because the card base is actually too wide to fit through the big shot that way, and of course, too wide this way, what I've done is I've folded it over. I'm going to place one of my platforms underneath of it, and then fold it over the top. Then I need to take my pattern paper. We're gonna line it up here. Now I'm leaving an eighth inch border around, so I'm just gonna layer it like that. And then finally, I'll put on the die, because what we wanna do is cut through one layer of the pattern and one layer of the base. And now that it's gone through, I'll bring it back around, and you can see that by folding that underneath, we only punched out through the pattern paper and one part of the base. I've set the pattern piece and the base aside right now, and I'm going to go ahead and stamp the coordinating stamp for the flower shop punch from Stampin' Up. Of course, you don't have to do this step if you're not using that set. And here are my two stamped images. Now, if you have one of these coordinating stamp and punch sets, you know that there is a certain way that these have to go. I always find it good to turn it over and then you can place it in here and just make sure to line it up. And then we'll simply punch both of those out. And there's both of my flowers punched out. Now I'm gonna put the punch aside and let's zoom in a little bit here because what we need to do now is we need to assemble the actual spinner part. So I'm gonna bring the thread back in. Let's turn one of the flowers over and we're just going to line up the thread so it's roughly centered in there. And then I've got some of uh, my Sukwang tape here because I want it to be very strong, very permanent since there's gonna be a lot of pressure put on that. And I'm just gonna place a piece of that right in the middle, like so. And then let's remove the backing to expose the adhesive. And then we'll take the other flower. Now these are not um, going to line up perfectly, but that's okay. You can just kind of do it as best you can. You won't even be able to notice it on the final card. So there we go. The spinner piece is together and it's ready to be placed in the card. So here's the card base again, and I've got the fold going along the top. Bring in the spinner piece and we're just going to center that flower right in between the circle, and then we'll bring in some of that Sukwang tape again, and we're going to put one piece on the bottom, and we'll put one piece on the top, and I'm actually not going to expose the adhesive this time because I really want that to stay in place. Now I'll bring the pattern piece back in. I've already pre-taped this, and I'm just going to line it up so that I've got that nice eighth inch border going all the way around. And then I'll place it down. What's really nice is that you can use the circle that you punched out to help you line it up. And there we go, the cards together. And to make the spinner spin, you just kind of have to prime it and then close your card. And then when your recipient gets it and opens it, look at that spin. Now, of course, we'll want to decorate this card. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And here's my fully decorated card. Uh, I did a few things here with the petite petals from Stampin' Up. This butterfly is from Martha Stewart. And I ended up putting the punched piece of paper from the pattern behind 
the cutout there. And this is all set and ready to go. So when my recipient opens it, you can see the flower spins. And again, just to reset that, you just spin it up a little bit, hold it in place and then close it. Put it in the envelope and they'll be in for a great surprise. Well, I hope you enjoyed making this card with me. And if you have any variations, I'd love to see them. Post them in the comments below. Thanks.